Battlefield 4 continues to provide people with interesting and entertaining gameplay, and with a lot of new players coming to the game over Christmas, I thought it would be a good idea to give you my top medic assault rifles and loadouts. Even for the experienced players out there, maybe there is something that you haven't tried yet on this list. I've included a selection of different types of loadouts in this video, so whilst they are all good and I do enjoy using all of them, some might focus on more short range engagements whilst another one might be for that medium to long range stuff. In this video I'll show you what attachments I put on each weapon and then add some gameplay using each loadout so you'll get an idea of what the strengths and the weaknesses are with each. Let's start out with the L85A2, it's my favourite weapon in Battlefield 4 right now. 750 RPM makes it a good weapon at a variety of ranges, decent at close and medium range in my opinion, that's where it excels, the perfect rate of fire for conquest really, very low recoil, a heavy barrel and stubby grip is how I use this weapon. It's a bullpup which means great hip fire in battlefield and you can strafe whilst aiming more quickly. Is that something you'll be doing? It could be great to maybe go from behind cover, ADS out of cover. It's just a little advantage with the bullpup rifles. The laser sight will improve your hip fire. It might cause the odd enemy to either see you through smoke or potentially get blinded and miss some shots. I reckon people are going to see you. A little bit more so you have to remember to turn this sight on and off depending on the circumstances if you can't then just don't put it on the weapon the stubby grip will reduce the spread increase per shot in full auto by 15 percent essentially meaning you can mag dump an enemy more easily and the heavy barrel improves accuracy at the expense of stability something else you should definitely have on this weapon Moving on, we have the SCAR H. You have to be accurate with the SCAR. It's a high power weapon, but a slower rate of fire at only 620 RPM. I love this weapon though, and often refer to it as my favorite in the game. If you take your time to aim and concentrate on the accuracy, the SCAR H is really rewarding. Unfortunately, if you don't have that accuracy, then it might not be the weapon for you. Whilst you only get a 21 round magazine, the SCAR H has a superb reload time of 1.9 seconds with rounds remaining and 2.4 seconds when empty. You might be relying on your secondary a little bit more, say there's three enemies in front of you, switching out to the Deagle or the G18 or whatever you're using is probably the way to go. The stubby grip is all you need in my opinion on this weapon and as you can see from the gameplay it can be very powerful if you hit your shots. I'm probably an average player on PC, so a good player will get far more out of this weapon, as I said, if you have maybe 25% accuracy or something like that. Now for a weapon that a lot of people sleep on, a lot of people don't realise how good it is. I was one of those players until my friend Andy told me that I definitely should try it out. You see him on a lot of my videos really, he's a great infantry player and the F2000 is a weapon that he says is definitely worth checking out. A high rate of fire and it's fairly easy to control. The weapon comes with a 1.6x sight that isn't actually that bad but I do prefer going with a more familiar sight as you can see my loadout in the background. You unlock it by completing the assignment express train. It is available in the second assault DLC. If you don't have the DLC, a little plug here, check out in the description there is a link to instant gaming. You can pick up the game super cheap there, premium DLCs, whatever you need. Definitely try it out. 850 RPM places it just behind the AEK 971 but it has less spread and less recoil. A longer reload can be a big drawback in certain situations with this weapon, but it's a nice alternative to the overused AEK. You're probably going to hit more shots, I reckon, if you use this weapon, and it's definitely a weapon you should check out. The F2000, really, it's fantastic. I do run this weapon with a reflex sight, laser sight, and stubby grip. Make sure you remember to turn that laser sight off, as I mentioned before, and as it takes practice, if you're not used to that, just don't run with it as it's probably a better option as you won't get spotted as much. The AEK 971 as we move on from that F2000 will only stay on this weapon for a very short period of time because everyone knows about this. Great in close quarters, deadly in the right hands, the go-to weapon for locker or metro players. Comp stubby is the loadout I suggest using. If you're going for a full sweaty loadout the G18 is the obvious sidearm to take alongside it the magnum's good fun the deagle's probably a really good one as well now for something that 
is a fantastic weapon but maybe not the most optimal unless you are looking for really close quarters it can be decent at medium range but it's a close quarters weapon it's the famas super fast firing and very annoying to play against the famas was actually banned i seem to remember in competitive matches alongside a few other weapons something to do with the thousand rounds per minute making it a bit buggy on some servers can't really remember but you can see why it might have been banned this thing just blitzes enemies in close quarters and to be honest at that medium range as well it is really really deadly although you will have that longer reload of 2.8 seconds with bullets remaining and 3.7 seconds when empty you've also got a smaller 26 round magazine so you'll fly through the ammo but if you've got four enemies in front of you in maybe Metro or Locker or even on a game of Rush or TDM, whatever it is, quite versatile in close quarters, you'll just blast through all of them. There's no better weapon, I don't think, on the game for maybe mag dumping at close range with a thousand rounds per minute. And it can hold its own at medium range as well. I do run this weapon with a stubby or potato grip, they're the same thing, and a compensator and a laser. Again, the laser, you've got to be able to turn it off, but if you're in close quarters, this weapon, just leave it on, blast through people, mag dump to your heart's content, and you will start racking up the kills. Now for the Ace-23. This is, in my opinion, the most versatile weapon in the game, and a very popular choice for a lot of players. I'd say if you don't know what to take on a match, you're joining, let's say, Operation Outbreak Rush, or Seas of Shanghai Conquest, you know, just a random game of Battlefield, and you don't know what weapon to take in the medic class, the Ace-23 is a safe choice, it's the weapon for you. A 36 round magazine is the standout part of this weapon, I'd say. Really, really awesome, you'll find yourself not reloading as much after every one or two kills, you do get that benefit of a few more rounds in that magazine. I'd run it with the heavy barrel and the stubby grip, easy to control, constant recoil, but if we do think back to a video made by Marble Duck in 2016, he suggested maybe using a comp stubby setup if you're a very accurate player. Try them out, see what you think. For me, it's heavy barrel stubby, but I'm not that accurate, so that would be why. Now for a few alternatives. Like all other bullpup assault rifles, the Bulldog has improved hip fire accuracy and increased movement speed while aiming down the sights. As I said, you can peek out of cover while ADS'd and gain a movement buff almost across the board when aiming down sights. Definitely worth checking out. This was featured in the Dragon's Teeth expansion pack, again a DLC weapon. It deals 33 damage up close, similar to the Scar, however is more focused on closer ranges. Again, a 21 round magazine is noticeably smaller than many others in the medic class. Running with a stubby grip, no barrel and the laser is what I'd recommend. In terms of a shotgun, well, for me, I only run with the 870 MCS as a great all-round shotgun, using the full choke and buckshot for big damage. I have focused on assault rifles in this guide and stayed away from those carbines, DMRs and shotguns. And I'll return with a later video maybe looking at the carbines. As for shotguns, it's really personal preference, but for me, that 870 MCS is all you really need. So what do you think of this list? It's been around 10 minutes of Battlefield 4 loadouts and gameplay. I haven't done this in a while. Hopefully, the next game, Battlefield 6, will go back to this kind of loadout screen where we get to see everything and try it out on the gun, see what it looks like, see the perks that you might benefit from having it on the weapon and maybe the drawbacks as well. That is a really fun part of FPS gaming, really, working out what loadout is best for you. Hopefully there's something you can take away from this video. If so, fantastic. If you're new to BF4, definitely check out some of my older guides on the channel. They're still definitely relevant. And of course, the top players running twice a week. You're going to be seeing some epic only in Battlefield moments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.